Let's fire it up. Bada bing, a bada boom. Haiku the robot. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, I already have a save file on here that I nearly 100% completed. Uh, I did this in the course of a weekend, <laughs> 10 hours. Uh, I, it wasn't a very busy weekend. There's a new game mode, uh, corrupt. Warning, system compromised, one health point remaining. So I beat the game 100% normally, and now this is a game where I cannot uh, die. I literally can't die. <laughs> or maybe I can't even be hit by anything, so now I have to play a lot more carefully. I think this might not last very long. <laughs> We're gonna see. But I will take you through the world of Haiku the Robot, and we'll see how well I can do. In an alternative timeline? Wait, is this like a different story entirely then? Whoa, I haven't seen a cutscene from this game either, or at least not like this. Oh no! Okay, so to explain what happened there, uh, there's like a corruption that's been taking over a lot of the robots in this game. Oh, uh, and it doesn't fully leave us this time. Oh no. Oh, this is gonna be difficult. <laughs> The normal opening cutscene is that the infection fully leaves Haiku, but now he actually has some of it still in him. It's following him in a trail. Wow. Okay. And I only have one life. Uh, slide past enemies with ZR, right. I have to relearn the controls here. And then, yeah, there's the heating system on the top left. Okay. I'm gonna actually quickly readjust myself, put me down here, because that's important information on the top right. Okay. My first enemy. I gotta be careful. <laughs> Knowing that I can die to literally anything is actually super intimidating. Uh, I got hit a lot when playing this normally and I don't know how long this challenge is gonna last for me to heal and save but like I'm not gonna be healing at all and I'm dead <laughs> I'm dead okay so that didn't actually end the game it just killed me and I lost a lot of uh, my money for it which is that sucks, <laughs> but hey, at least it doesn't end the game. That's what I thought would happen initially. Okay, well, we're gonna get some of that money back and progress through. So we are in the first area of the game. It's called the Abandoned Wastes. Um, kind of just as it uh, as the name would imply. Also, I. <laughs> This is gonna be tough. <laughs> this is gonna be so tough. Oh. If I'm already failing like this now, I can't even imagine the bosses. My main complaint with the game when I first played through it was that I thought it was too easy. Now, with this mode, I think that complaint's gonna evaporate. Like, completely disappear. <laughs> I don't even know if I can get more health in the game. Like, I start with one, but do I ever get more? In the normal game, you can, but I don't know if I ever will be here if this is like a harder difficulty. Haiku the robot. Uh, this robot's name is Haiku. Say hello. <laughs> I don't know if he'll greet you back. It will greet you back, but um... It's also here to try saving the world. Um, this is a post-apocalyptic world beyond humans. Um, they've all died by now, and robots have taken over, trying to 
replicate what humans once had, uh, now that they're all gone, and maybe make the world better as well. But they ended up falling to, like, a corruption within their own system. And so most of them are now just shambling, aggressive, inferior versions of what they used to be. And now, uh, Haiku is actually corrupted. Has some corruption in him. Quite unfortunate. And I get the key, and then that lets me go down here, almost hit the enemy. <laughs> Just gotta get past these tires. And I can break through to the new area. I am still extremely worried about the first boss. Uh, if I can only be hit once. What is that? <gasps> is that another life? Oh, well shoot, I'm glad I got that. <laughs> I think... I feel like there was supposed to be an NPC there normally. It was another life. And now it's gone forever. What? <laughs> no! This is gonna be so difficult. I just lost that. I got it and lost it two seconds later. <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, so to explain why I'm like so flabbergasted. Normally, right here, there's like an NPC that talks to you a little bit. And uh, after you've talked with him, uh, you will be able to like save money uh, that you collect in the game. Uh, through like a little podium that's nearby. Uh, as you can see though, the NPC and the little money-saving podium are not here. This is gonna be so hard. <laughs> I'm trying to remember where I need to go next. I think... To the left is a boss. Right, I do have a map that I start out with, but a lot of it's locked. Um, this world's pretty, pretty large. <laughs> There's a lot to it. That life lasted long. It lasted all of like 20 seconds. <laughs> I'm glad I cherished it very dearly. Uh, to the left is a boss that I think I have to defeat to really progress. But to the right, if things are still the same over here, uh, there's a train station. Which also acts as like the main hub of the world. Uh, also, there's something ringing up here. This will help me bash open uh, more stuff on the map. So now I have unlocked the ability to see everything over here. Very helpful. Never mind, the train's not here yet. I think I forgot that detail. <laughs> Is this game just on PC, and is it a paid game? Uh, no, I'm actually playing this on the Switch. Um, every game that you're going to see me play uh, on stream is likely going to be on the Switch, unless it's like Minecraft or something. Then I'll play on PC. And yes, it, it is a paid game, uh, but it's not super expensive. If I remember correctly, I think I bought it for 15 maybe $20. Bucks. Um, and I'd say it's worth the time. It's still a fun game. Uh, your first playthrough of it, the life, the life returns. <laughs> I'm so glad. I am so happy. <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay. All right. We're still alive. And we're moving on. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Oh. What? A hundred? Oh, God. It costs money to use the save points now. I was curious about that checkpoint earlier. It costs money! Okay, but now it's got a checkpoint, so then I can use it freely? Okay, okay. So it's... First time payment. I think that's a lot more reasonable. But also, 
Still increases the difficulty. <laughs> Hold on, actually, that thing reappeared on the other side. I want to see if it, like, always reappears here. If I can, you know, without dying or anything. <laughs> okay, that is still gone. That might be like a time limit thing. Like, every so often it comes back. I know that I have to go left here. And then I go up, and then the first boss is going to be up this way. That's right. Okay. First boss. Here we go. Oh. Hello. You were just kind of sitting there that time. I don't know if I had to, like, strike you. Okay. <laughs> okay. I can dash through enemies. I literally forgot about that. I'm curious if, like, I could eventually find a way to hop around to a bunch of different spots on the map and, like, slowly collect more life in desperate situations, but I'm sure that wouldn't be ideal. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Dash. Okay, I think I dashed. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure if I did or not. There, I did it that time for sure. Oh. Oh. Ah, I forget that those are limited. Yeah, if you look in the top left corner of the screen, you'll notice a little heat bar. And that uh, affects how many times I'm able to actually dash. I didn't realize I could jump over the guy either until literally just now. <laughs> That's going to make things actually a lot easier for me. Yeah, okay. I can just jump over him. I don't have to time out my dashes. And then I can save the dashes for when I really need to. Oh, but I get too close and I die. <laughs> This isn't going to be that difficult. I just need to be a bit more cautious and patient uh, with the boss than I was when I first encountered him. Man, even the walk up to this boss is somewhat terrifying. And these are all just basic enemies. They're not even trying to do anything. <sighs> I gotta relearn this game almost. Or it's like... Maybe not relearning, but just approaching it a lot different. Alright, yeah, I can't get past. I have to fight. That would have been cool, though, if I could just slip past. <laughs> okay, back away. Jump. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Back away. Jump. Five, that's good. One, two, three, four. Yes, okay. Oh, wait, that just means he's more aggressive now. <laughs> I thought that meant I won. Oh, all right. I made it to the second phase. <laughs> Why? Oh. Okay, I'm alive. I definitely wasn't freaking out there at all. Uh, I had full faith in myself. Just like I have full faith in my ability to do this uh, first try. Second try. <laughs> okay. One. Give it the smackdown. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Move away. Jump. One, two, th three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Move away. I'm just trying to get as many hits in as I can. Oh gosh. Yeah, here it comes now. This part can get pretty tricky. But I have at least one opportunity to fail. Oh, 
Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Barely dodged that one. Good. All right. I think that's it. Yes. All right. And I kept both lives. I'm actually a little impressed by that. Even though it's just the first boss. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yep. And now I get my first ability. Wall jumping. Electromagnetism. All right. Well, I'd say it's going pretty smooth so far. <laughs>